I am Nikos Xanthoulis, and uh, I have served as principal trumpet player for 25 years with the orchestra of the Greek National Opera. Having played the trumpet on a very high professional standard, when I decided to dedicate myself to the revival of the technique of the ancient Greek lyre, I knew what to do. I had to do many flight hours, many hours on trying to discover the very essence of an instrument. And you know, every single instrument has its own peculiarities, characteristics, but all the instruments, the logic of approaching every instrument is the same. So, having this instrument, the ancient Greek lyres in my hands, I had to try to resolve many problems. First of all, holding the instrument. From uh, 800 BC to 400 AD, the ancient Greek lyre, the seventh string ancient Greek lyre, was the national underquart instrument of the ancient Greeks. You can understand that the ancient Greek lyrist had to discover new techniques to show them in front of a public. In Delphi, for example, where the great contests, music contests, uh, that were from 582 or 6 BC till the end of antiquity, all this public then knew how to play the lyre because every free person had to learn the lyre, had to study the lyre in school. So the great master of the instrument had to show new things, new techniques. Now, the first secret that I discovered studying more than 2,000 depictions of the pottery was this, this trap, the telamon. This trap permits the uh, lyrist to release his left hand so he can use his left hand. Then, with the plectrum, we have seen that they used the plectrum in the majority of the depictions. For example, if I want to play a chord, I have to mute the strings that I don't want to hear. If I want to play an A minor, I have tuned the instrument, the uh, uh, diatonic uh, natural A minor, La, Si, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, A, B, C, D, F, G. I touch, I mute the strings that I don't want to hear. C, Re, Fa, Sol, B, D, F, G. So I have opened the A, C, E strings. way I can play the seventh chords as well. The plectrum is very important because it gives the instrument a very powerful sound. Of course, I can use the fingers of both hands. To expand the range of the instrument, I can use the harmonics. From 6th century BC, 
from the time of Pythagoras, we know that they knew about the harmonics. How I produce the harmonics? I stop the middle of the string and I play the upper part of the string. These are the first harmonics, the octaves. But I can play also the second harmonics. The third. The fourth. The fifth. Having a big range on the instrument, I can play many things. But I can use also uh, both hands to play alternatively. can play the chromatic scale. Having all these possibilities and uh, producing the notes except for the open strings, the harmonics, I have a big, a large palette to uh, have a big repertoire. The second thing that I had to do is to produce this repertoire and to write down all these techniques. So I wrote a complete method on ancient Greek lyre. You can find on the comments the title and the link of this method. This instrument is really magical. And the magic of this instrument is the open strings. Can you imagine that this magic can be alive till now? Could you imagine that this instrument can collaborate with other instruments? I'm waiting from your comments what you think about that.